This is finally happening. You, me. Oh my gosh, I was so hungry. Thanks for this. You're adorable when you eat curly fries. Wait, what did you say? Yeah, this is the moment where you cringe and say, Oh God, that is not a date, you've made a mistake. And friends, you'd be right, but that's, that's not even the only mistake I made that night. Ew, Ted, stop! Stop? You looked like you wanted me to kiss you. No, I looked like I needed more ketchup. I don't understand. You call me in tears, begging me to come get you, and you say in that sweet voice, Thanks for always being here for me. Will you? Can we just go get a cheeseburger? So, let me get this straight. I get broken up with a half hour ago, call you, my best friend, in tears, ask you to come get a double cheeseburger and fries to drown my grief in polysaturated fats, and you think it's a date? I mean, yes. Ted, you're a psycho and a jerk. Mm. Wait, wait, I'm the jerk? You're the one who's been leading me on. Leading you on? Yeah, you tell me all your secrets, text me every day. You even ask my opinions about stuff. Yeah, because that's what friends do. Friends? Don't ask opinions about what bras look nice. Sorry, but it's true, she did ask. About her bra, not mine, I, I, don't, I don't wear a bra. Obviously. That was one time. One time is enough times. Screw you. Now, not only did I get dumped tonight, but I can't even count on my best friend. You know what, screw you. I'm tired of this. Take the bus, get your own burger, and don't text me anymore. Fine. Fine. Friendship over. Danny and I have been friends since middle school. I've always had girlfriends, and she's always been single. Until this summer, when he showed up. He even wrote a love song for her. Who even expresses their feelings in words anymore? He's basically a human greeting card. And I, I don't know, I guess I had just never noticed her in that way before. Until the moment she was with someone else. <laughs> Having Danny as my friend was not only great because we, we had a good time together, but also whenever I had problems in my relationships, she always gave me great advice. And here she was just asking for the same thing from me. And I wasn't really there for her. And so here I am now, leaving my best friend in the rain. Someone who I supposedly love because she rejected me. Not only did I make the mistake of trying to kiss her, but also I straight up dissed her. No wonder she'd rather be in the rain than with me. You're not gonna try to kiss me again, are you? My lips will only touch my beer can, I swear. Okay, fine. I'm sorry. You should be. You left me in the rain. Okay, you, oh, well, you did get out of the car. Only for emphasis. Why didn't you say anything before? You just kissed me out of nowhere. Look, I got jealous, okay? I just, I've... <laughs> You can make me say it, I'll say it. I've never seen you with a boyfriend before, okay? So, what are you, in love with me? Well, but I, I don't know. You always seem to know with other girls. It's not fair for me to try and figure out your feelings for you. I guess I messed everything up. I don't know, if you really are into me, we can't hang out. I'm with Nathan. No, it, it makes sense. I guess I should, I should go. You can stay. To finish this beer, at least. But stay on your side of the step. <laughs> I will. In the end, I don't know. I don't know what will happen with our friendship. I have to be honest about how I feel, but also listen to how she feels too. After all, the only thing we really owe each other is kindness and respect. <laughs>